Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please, for two legends of Leinster rugby, Owen Redden and Luke Fitzgerald. Owen, what do you miss the most? Uh, well, I stay in touch with a lot of lads, so I don't, I don't suffer from the, the lack of getting slagged, so that still happens. Um, you know, I, 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 so far I don't miss too much. I miss training with the lads, maybe, and uh, I don't miss the games, actually, which is strange. It probably meant it was, it was definitely the right time. Um, but yeah, not, not too much so far. I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and, um, and I'm still, in, as I said, still in touch with the lads, so, so not too much so far. And for you, Luke, what, what do you miss the most? Uh, I don't miss being slagged by Reds or anyway. Jeez, he was brutal. Um, playing mind games at me the whole time. Um, no, look, I, I, miss, uh, I miss definitely the change room. Um, a lot of good people in there, a lot of good friends, um, and uh, a lot of fun in there as well. Um, even though the, the training is difficult, it's nice going through that with, with a lot of people who you're close with. So um, I, that's, that, that's definitely the toughest part for me. Can you pick one highlight from your Leinster career? Or several, it doesn't matter, but, but what jumps into your mind? Um, I think the first Heineken Cup win um, in 2009 was, was definitely a highlight. Um, very closely followed by the, the comeback win against Northampton in uh, 2011. So um, they're definitely two highlights that, that stick out. Yeah. Owen, for you? Um, I'm going to fray into a little bit of, maybe there's two people here who, who I was going to mention, and it's probably a highlight for me, which is probably a bit of a low light at the same time, but, and they probably both don't want to hear this, but... Um, there was a particular point in my career when I'd been, I'd been dropped by Joe late in a week um, when Ireland were due to play New Zealand in the Aviva in 2013. And on this occasion, Bossy was going to play New Zealand. And, you know, it was late in the week. And uh, I rang Aoife there, who, who was a huge support to me throughout my career. And was like, Joe's, Joe's telling me I, uh, you know, I'm not involved at the weekend, but, you know, I want you to stay around and hang around with the lads. And, and I was thinking, that's, we were playing away to Treviso, which is a tough fixture. And, you know, we had two kids at the time, and I was thinking he would fancy me being around the weekend helping out. And straight away she was like, uh, you need to go. You need to go and play. Are you mad? Just go and play and play well and get be done with this. And I was like, oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> so I rang my dad and said, uh, I know you have tickets for the weekend, and, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm not involved. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy the weekend. And, and he said, okay, 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 that, that's fine, that's fine. And then, um, you know... He obviously knew I was gutted, you know, uh, deeply gutted. And, uh, you know, a few hours later, he went back and said, uh, that's fine, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually coming to Treviso as well. And I was like, you know, I'm on the bench. He was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So he skipped the, the, the game that Ireland nearly won in the Aviva. Um, you know, and for me, that sticks out to me as a personal highlight because the people around me supported me uh, so much through my career. And I think um, that, was, that was a real key moment for me. It actually probably gave me another three or four years Dad doesn't know, but when I, uh, when I did see him there, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to play well here now. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and it actually... <laughs> and uh, just <laughs> Ronan O'Donnell, who is the ultimate fan on the sideline, who literally will not stop giving out about the referee and everyone, <laughs> literally, for some reason that day, wouldn't stop telling us to score in the Ireland-New Zealand game. <laughs> and I was like, eventually I was like, Ronan, seriously, shut the <laughs> up. <laughs> um, and that doesn't go down well with Ronan, trust me. Um, I think we should get Ronan up here. <laughs> yeah, so that seems to be something I go back to when someone asks me my highlight, because to me, it was, it, it was a huge thing for me and, and sums up um, the support those two people have given me over a huge career. And, um, and I'd just like to say thanks to them in public tonight when I have the opportunity. Here, here. Well, you, you saw what happened uh, in the room when the two of you came up on stage, and, and we would like to, again, uh, thank you both for all you did for Leinster Rugby, and we hope that uh, you enjoy the rest of your night. Owen and Luke, ladies and gentlemen, two legends. Well done, sir.